Hello, this is Francis from McCaffrey's Crafts, and today I thought I would continue on with my series about Black Torn and Irish faction fighting and uh, going through some history. And today I wanted to touch on what is a very interesting concept that you don't hear too much about. It's called um, the wheel. And the wheel is what would be the kind of prelude to a faction fight. And this was where the captain would walk out in front of his faction and he would be waving around his faction stick which would usually be a black thorn around his head and he would be shouting abuse and taunting the opposition and basically it can you know be seen as a kind of comical act because they'd be shouting crazy things to each other they'd be shouting back and they'd have things that they would say against a family name that have you know throwing dirt they knew as a family or or something they they'd go back and forth in in this manner and um then this ritual would kind of last for maybe about 15 minutes and uh then you know that the language of it would would <laughs> go into to pretty bad like you know the, you you would you would hear a lot of expletives and you know bad language and thrown and loads of abuse just just as you would with any two people about to, to to fight um but one thing about the wheel i kind of wanted to kind of touch on today is that many people and you'd see it on online as well um, you know, they, they'd have this quote, you know, who will dare tread on that? And there's a guy trailing his coat and coat trailing. Now, by all accounts, Irish historians have looked at this and, and most accounts of factions do not have this coat trailing. And it is actually a bit, bit of a bit of a myth that it happened that a number of faction fights. Um, most people at the fairs as well, they wouldn't even be wearing their coats when they were, you know, about to have a faction fight as well. So it just, you know, it, by by all accounts, uh, Irish historians have kind of discredited this. And um, there's actually a, a writer um, called Le Fanu. And in his book, he says that, look, coat trailing as a prelude to, to, uh, to battle is discounted. And um, like the story often told that a row began by one man taking off his coat and trailing it behind him saying, who will dare tread on that is a myth. Um, that's what Fanu has in his book. And let me just read some of the notes here. He said, I've seen many uh, an Irish faction fight and they all began the same way. One man wheeled, as they called it, for his party. So he reports there that the term wheel um, of what the Irish factions used to used to call this this kind of a, a verbal exchange at the start, uh, that is, he marched up and down, flourishing his black torn and shouting the battle cry of his factions. And he ha he's recorded some some of the cries here, and this would kind of make sense even to me now in modern Irish times because it's it's uh, in the Irish lexicon and and people would use it even at football matches a lot as well. So here's one. He's about the 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 coffees. Here is a coffee abu against a raswalig. Here is a coffee abu. Who, who there strike a coffee? And uh, abu is a very common term you'd hear in Ireland, especially at sporting events. Like my county is um, the, the most profit, pro prolific All Ireland champions, Kerry. And at Kerry football matches, you'd hear Kerry abu. And, you know, abu is like a battle chant which, um, you know, is spelled A-B-U Fada. And, uh, you know, it would make sense to me that you'd hear this cry a lot because it, it comes from, from Irish language as well. And there's another, another reference I kind of want to mention as well that kind of discusses this. It's by James Hall in his book Tour Through Ireland, which came out in 1813. And he describes some of the preliminaries to a faction fight. And um, here's one there that I've kind of written down from the kind of Limerick area. He said, um, I observed one fellow surrounded by hundreds without a coat, raise his arm and grasping a blackthorn stick about four feet long, swing it around his head, pronouncing aloud his companions have promised to support him. Jesus be praised. Jesus be praised. Praise forever. After which an opening of the crowd began. And he ran down the street with hundreds after him, armed with cudgels to meet the opposition party or the opposite party. 
so yeah, so it was just they'd shout abuse. There'd be references, obviously, to to religious rhetoric. There'd be um, slurs against the family. There'd be bad language, and then all of a sudden, yeah, you would just run and roar at each other. Sometimes the captains would even just, as they're marching up and down in front of the enemy faction, they would like hit one of the faction, and it would just all hell would break loose as well. Uh, so you know, like it's uh, it, it is um, it is quite unusual type of that. Uh, you know, to to a spectator, imagine watching a faction years ago, you know, seeing all of this banter and then all of a sudden this this comedy turns into to violence and, and extreme ultra ultra violence as, uh, as well. And, uh, you know, some of the faction wheels could be heard at, at, at markets and um, especially like in, in as been reported in Liber uh, uh, Tipperary and, and Limerick. Um, even like there's there's a story here that I wrote down like not many years ago uh, an Irish army colonel was visiting his hometown in Tipperary and um, he saw a countryman who was you know slightly worse for the wear um, walking along the road and staggering and um, he was shouting out these these strange cries and uh, one of his friends turned to him and said uh, you should answer that you know, to, he said to the Irish army guy and he was said, w why should I? Because he said, what the guy's saying is Ryan Bond and Alice. And that is a part of the taunt used against your family in the faction days. So there were specific taunts they would use against families as well. And you had to respond the minutes you, 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 you seen them as an obligation. Um, so yeah, so like th there you have it today. I was just trying to touch on the topic of the wheel. It's uh it's something there's not a lot of reports on, but it's something there that that would be very interesting to to kind of talk on and, and try to expand on as well. And uh, you know, I suppose poets and writers would would have great fun with uh, coming up with some good chants. And you'd even hear that, like, say, um, you know, if you ever look look at English soccer or football, they have all the chants as well in the crowd and chants and insults to the other teams, and it's kind of funny and. They'd be taunting specific players as well. And you kind of see evidence of that throughout the world with, with groups as well as they're shouting at each other. So it, it makes sense to me that this would have happened at the faction and, and adding an Irish flair to it as well. There, there obviously would be a comical aspect to it. But uh, again, you know, very extreme type of type of situation would, would happen after. Uh, so there you have it. Thanks for watching today. The, 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 the discussion there on the wheel. Thank you.